But before we keep going, I want to do a massive thank you to Reebok for sponsoring today's video. The 90s are back. It's almost like a rebellion or a punch in the gut to traditional menswear and perfectly tailored garments. Today, we're going to go over the top six trends of this year that I actually kind of like. Now, of course, remember to keep everything in context throughout this video. A lot of this clothing won't be taken seriously in a mature setting like an office, an interview, going out for a nice date, or meeting her parents. But they can make great fashion statements to have a little bit of fun and just evolve and play outside the box with your style and make it a little bit more unique. And that coincidentally marks the first trend, and that's the dad sneaker. These chunky dad sneakers, they've been in trend all year. But then I tried my first pair of dad sneakers and I mentioned in a video and I kind of liked how the aesthetic looked. It, it kind of changed things up. That's why these Reebok Astrek, these are the way to go. Not only are they affordable, but these bad boys, they're an actual classic. These bad boys were launched in the 90s. Actually, one year before I was even born, so they're older than me. And now, after almost a 25-year hiatus, Reebok is bringing back this shoe design that has an asymmetrical look to it, and it's perfect for the season and the trend that's in right now. And one thing I can tell you, that even if you don't like the aesthetic of that sneakers, one thing you can never argue is just how comfortable they are. And these Reebok, they took it to the next level. The cushioning inside makes it feel like you're walking on clouds making it one of the most comfortable shoes that I have in my wardrobe. Pair that with the diamond stud rubber outsole, it was the perfect running shoe back in the day. And now, their back is a statement piece using the same running technology that makes it ultra comfortable to use and walk in, giving you the comfortable tick to keep you walking, but also the style points that you need for this season. And the cool thing with this dad sneaker is that you can wear across multiple aesthetics and with different style of clothing. You can wear it with shorts, with jeans, with chinos, and you can use your regular clothing. You don't have to go full on trends. If you use a fitted chino with this, you would still look good. Or some fitted or ripped torn denim with these, you would have your classic menswear fit with a trendy item that really isn't obnoxious or over the top and also super affordable which makes it a no-brainer if you want to try out the style. So the 90s are back and personally I'm loving Reebok's new relaunch of the Astrex and if you want to shop them and check them out for yourself and see how affordable they are I'm gonna have the link down below you can go to champsports.com to check them out. The second ugly trend that I wasn't a fan of before is the fanny pack. I thought you look goofy with it to be honest but again you can't ever say you hate something until you try it. And I did. Now, personally, I'm not gonna use the fanny pack in my style, but I saw the usage and the functionality. Surprisingly, that little bag can hold a lot and it actually clears out your pockets. So it has a lot of functional purpose to use it. And since it's in style and culturally acceptable right now, why not use it and add a little bit of extra functionality? You would have told me this three or four years ago where nobody was wearing a fanny pack. Of course, I would say a flat out now. Number three, oversized sweater. This one I can say that I liked off the bat and it's because I tried it off the bat and I really like the comfortable aesthetic and the slouchy cut that the sweater gives you. And I even like it when you pair it with some fitted pants to give your outfit complete balance. The best thing about this trend of oversized clothing is the fact that you actually get to feel comfortable. So yeah, the oversized sweater, I actually like that. Four, the dad pants. These are the pants that have a straight cut to them or a classic cut. They're not super tailored and the silhouette is a bit looser. Now this doesn't mean the pants are going to be baggy. Instead, you're, what you're doing is avoiding the super skinny cut or the slim cut. And you would wear pants like your dad would. So it could be your khakis, kind of like that workwear aesthetic or trousers or jeans. The cool thing about this is that they pair very well with those dad sneakers and the whole aesthetic looks pretty sick. And again, if the fit is right, nobody's gonna complain about you looking oversized or looking stumpy. As long as it's not baggy and bunching up at the bottom, you're good to go with this trip. Number five, the mule. This one, this one I really, really hated and it took me a while to kind of grow into it. And I'm not gonna lie, the first guy that actually convinced me towards this style was McGregor himself. The dude's a style kid and he can pull off almost anything. And when I saw him pull up on stage in one of the press conferences before his big Mayweather fight and saw him rocking those Gucci mules, it kind of made me want to do it myself. Now, of course, like I always say, I wouldn't recommend you go to a super expensive high-end brand and pay thousands of dollars for a shoe that might be gone by next season. However, if you have the money to spend and want an extra shoe design that's outside the box a bit, the mule is definitely an interesting design that I would give a shot. And finally, number six, the Hawaiian bowling shirt. This one, again, off the bat, I was a fan of. This summer, I rocked Hawaiian shirts all the time, left and right. 
the silky feel to them, the flowy feel to them, it just keeps you refreshed and the Hawaiian print made your outfits fun and very easy to stand out. Personally, this is a trend I love and I hope it still stays in trend till next season in the summer because I'm going to be doing them again. The best part with the Hawaiian shirts are these bowling style shirts is that you have so many different prints and patterns to choose from, you can definitely be unique and stay comfortable and refreshed all day long. And that's basically it for today's video guys, those are the top 6 ugly style trends that were trending this year that personally i like if you guys like this video and found it informative don't forget to drop us a like down below also don't forget to check out our sponsor reebok if you guys want to check out that sneaker again i would go to chansports.com the link will be down below as well that's it for me today see you next time